Hi guys, it's been a minute since I've been able to make a video because everything I have keeps breaking. So in the last video, I was telling you guys that how the rain ruined a video and then my camera broke. Literally the week after I made that video, my gimbal broke. So, and I was literally in the middle of filming a property and that kind of made my life more complicated. So I've had to buy a new gimbal and that's kind of what I'm here to do is test this gimbal out. I also said last time that next time I made a video, it'd be more creative and more like a vlog, which is kind of what's happening. But there are two videos that I really want to make, and for me, they're quite ambitious. They're very creative forward. They're trying to be on trend, as the kids would say. Um, but I need gear to make it work. So it just seems so crazy that literally I've had a light blow up, a camera break, a gimbal break, and the weather just screw the last videos I've made. Which is weird because I've been trying to like be super chill about making stuff. And this is the year that everything's failing, which is just odd really. You want your roller coaster? Don't ask me if Other than it being kind of a pain in the ass and costing me money, some of this is a good thing. Um, I finally got a DJI run in, which I've always wanted. Um, and now I've come to the middle of a trail I'm on the beaten I'm off the beaten path I'm on the sides so I get to kind of push myself creatively and see if I can make something cool with not that much around me so let's see what I can do So far I am loving the gimbal, it's lightweight, it's actually really solid and I'm at the moment there is a bit of a learning curve with it because it operates completely differently from one I had previous. So I'm just testing what I can do with it and so far it's doing everything I need to do. Um, I just quite haven't figured out the controls yet, um, which is awesome, which means that hopefully I can get back to making the kind of videos that I normally make um, or trying to push myself and make better videos. I am also loving the fact that I'm somewhere I've never been before. Um, it's a lot of trees, it's a lot of brooks and waters, obviously there's a lake behind me which I'm going to shoot now, but um, when I started this vlog it was about exploring Halifax and figuring out what's here and now here I am again uh, on an offshoot of a park and I'm just loving playing here and just making a video. It does make filming hard when you don't know what's around but that's kind of the fun of it too. One of the things I've always loved when I come down to parks and I film them is just how close I am to nature and all the stuff I get to see. Now because I'm on a part of the trail where very few people are, in fact I think I'm the only person on this part of the trail, um, there's lots of squirrels around and you can see them fighting and playing and kind of, I'm going to say hunting but they're really just going after the same kind of nuts and stuff that the other ones are and I wish I had a different lens or the lens that I had wasn't broken so that I could get, I could film them well enough without getting too close to that scare my way but if you live in Halifax if you live in HRM just come to your local park put your phone away and just watch what's happening around you it's really cool and we're really lucky that we get to be this close to nature Thank you for watching this week's video. Um, if you've got any questions about where I am or the gear I'm using, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'll be back next week with a more vlog style, more kind of put together, less experimentally video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Oh, yeah.